Welcome to hell. Today is workshop number two. So we have a new group of people and we have a new set of challenges. And by challenges, I mean the weather. So we're gonna go and meet the group and start the adventure. We're here, we are at the campsite in the Highlands of Iceland. The very campsite that I cannot pronounce. I've also realized I didn't shave before I came to Iceland and I've not had the opportunity to shave since being here. So got a bit of a grizzly Adams going on here. We have a massive storm coming tomorrow, predicted tomorrow, 40, 50 mile an hour winds, driving rain. Storm is due to hit at 12 noon and it's gonna pass by midnight, hopefully. Anyway, this evening we are gonna do the same hike we did last week up Blue Mountain or or something else in Icelandic. We have awesome, awesome skies. Uh, Grey, it's overcast, but there's so much detail in the sky. It's phenomenal. So I'm, although we don't have the light, I am so excited for the images we're gonna get. If you want mood and drama, then these are the skies that you want. <laughs> We are approaching the top and the sky is just insane. It looks like a portal to hell has opened up because this is crazy. There's no wind, it's cold, but there's no wind. And the sky up there is just, oh, so much detail, so much drama, so much anger. The sky is just foreboding, it's so good. So I can't wait to get to the summit and set up and shoot images similar to what I shot in the video of last week, but they are gonna look so different. And yeah, it just goes to show the difference light can make and different conditions. A good example of shooting the same location more than once. Oh, the sky is just mega, 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 mega. Now I'm gonna show you an image this was taken last week and you can see there's a lot of colour in the sky and it's a lovely image and it's going to be really, really interesting to see the difference with how the scene can look. Now I thought that that image didn't necessarily suit the landscape. The sky didn't look real. I mentioned this in the video uh, that you can watch here if you haven't already seen it. Um, but now this sky, this suits the landscape, in my opinion, much more. So I'm going to do a panoramic exactly the same as I've done previously but this time we have the devil's skies. So it should be really cool. Four tenths of a second exposure, F11, ISO 100, and this is about, it's going to be about nine images. And once you stitch them together, the file's mega. It's like 26,000 pixels by about 6,000. So it's huge and the detail, the level of detail is incredible. So there's no better location than this to shoot a panoramic. So I'm going to get this and compare it to the one which I showed previously. As we descended the mountain, we could see the storm clouds beginning to roll in, but we would have no idea what tomorrow would bring. The wardens advised us to pack up camp and get out of the highlands, and this was a difficult decision because it meant a lot of hard work. But we felt it was the right and safe thing to do and it turns out we made the correct decision by packing up and leaving camp. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Our 
problems didn't end there. The bad weather of previous days had made the roads almost impassable, and we encountered real problems trying to get out of the highlands. Luckily, we made it out of the highlands. Unfortunately, though, the bad weather continued and did not pass as expected. Welcome to hell. It's day three of the storm workshop. This is the uh, the workshop that really focuses on what to do when it's 50 mile an hour winds and heavy rain in a tent. So it's a really, it's a fun team building exercise. Um, intertwined with some bursts of photography when we can actually physically get out of the vehicle. And it's going well, it's going really well. We're at the start of day three and um, our trailer tent is still standing. Which is a miracle, and I don't know how it's still standing because the winds are incredible. In fact, our whole camp is standing strong and that's because everybody pulled together, pitched their tents last night and collected rocks and we made a really sturdy setup. So that's just perfect. And you can see if we look around the camp, there are lots of tents that failed. And that's because those guys weren't on Tom's and Thor's camping in the strong wind and rain team building how to survive workshop. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's their own too bad. They should have joined us. On a more serious note, today's bad. However, from six o'clock this evening, the storm passes and things look good. So we are optimistic of some images tonight depending on how accurate the forecast is. But then tomorrow, God, I tell you what, if it's sunny tomorrow, I feel sorry for these guys, because we are gonna drag them all over Iceland, shooting non-stop. But with all that being said, actually the, the team spirit is really high. Last night we had beer, whiskey, cider, hot dogs. Three in the morning, we were wet, we were cold, it was horrible, and everyone was happy. Um, and that's because we all worked as a team, and it was awesome. So, we'll see what comes when the weather changes. All right. So yeah, the rain, the rain hasn't stopped for 36 hours. It's not stopped all day. So we've had a day of relaxing. We've had a nice, soak in a jacuzzi like an outdoor hot tub which was really nice had some food and then we went to the geezers just to, just to take a few shots and um, take in some of the classic sites uh, we we evacuated the highlands because the weather was so bad um, and yeah and we ended up at strokur geezer which was nice anyway the clouds oh my god the clouds have parted and the sky is phenomenal. Now we've been driving down this valley desperate for composition to use this phenomenal sky. And it was frustrating because there's nothing. But our guide Thor's brought us this waterfall, this epic waterfall, which I am walking towards now. And wait until you see this. Absolutely stunning. Mm, is it real good this Okay, so this is, this is just absolutely mega. The wind and the rain are making this hard work, but it's totally worth it. Um, I'm doing a panoramic, a wide panoramic with a 24 mil, because this scene is huge. We've got the waterfall here, and then that comes all the way down this valley to this gorgeous, misty, moody, dark. It's, like a, it's almost like a watercolor painting. It's phenomenal. Um, so yeah, no filters. Um, don't really don't think it's necessary. Uh, a polarizer would cut through the glare, but could cause you problems with the stitch if you're getting vignetting or anything like that. So I'm not using a polarizer. I'm on F10, approximately half a second per uh, exposure. It's absolutely stunning. It's absolutely, absolutely stunning. stunning. <laughs> it is, it's really good. F10, half a second exposure, and just a series of panoramics. Now, it's so important to spend the time and level your tripod and then just take your time. Each image, just wait a second, get the shot. 
wait a second, get the shot because you don't want to introduce motion blur into your images as you rush around trying to get all the images for your panoramic in one go. So, panoramic shot, wind's coming, rains are here for a change. Um, but this is just gorgeous and everyone's nailing this. So really happy, really happy. So this location has been absolutely epic. Um, it's hard because of the wind and the rain, but it's the wind and the rain that make the image, that make the atmosphere. Now what I would say is it's a very, very dangerous spot with a certain death if you fall off here. And proof of this is why I find this fascinating. Down here, so there's like a maybe a hundred foot cliff here, just, just, just down there is a Canon 5D Mark III on a tripod and that's been here this has been here quite a long time and that is a result of people being too close to the edge not paying attention to their gear um, well I don't the truth is I don't know the story but down there is a 5d mark 3 on a tripod um, and nobody has attempted to rescue it which is, is quite cool but yeah this is actually quite serious the uh, the drops around here are mega um, so it's important that we keep everybody safe but yeah, we're all done now. We're all really happy. Everybody has got a good image. I've, I've made sure, well, I've tried to encourage people to double check their images, make sure the focus, make sure they're well exposed, make sure they're happy with them because we're not going to get conditions like this again. And we're not probably not going to come to this location again. So yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been epic. Uh, that's the word I would describe, use to describe this. But now we are going to go back to camp fire up the barbecue and enjoy some nice hot food well deserved after shooting in these conditions and hopefully the the weather will pass um, and maybe on this trip who knows we might get some light finally <laughs> finally we have been rewarded by some light <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 